Hi everyone, it's Janine here, and in today's video we are going to be learning how to solve indeterminate limits using the method of finding a common denominator. So let's go ahead and take a look at some examples. So in this first example here, we have the limit as x approaches 3 of 1 over x minus 1 third over x minus 3. And so the first thing that we always do when we're solving a limit problem algebraically is we take this value for a and plug it into our function f of x. And if we do that here, we see that we get 0 over 0, which is an indeterminate form, which means that we need to use another method to solve this limit. And so the next method that we usually have to try is factoring, but there's nothing that we can factor here. And also we can't use the method of expansion because we don't really have anything in parentheses. And so the next method that we're going to be learning about today is the method of finding a common denominator. And we use this when we have a complex rational fraction, which basically just means that we have a fraction within a fraction. So here we have this 1 over x minus 1 third in the numerator. And so what we're going to do is we're going to find a common denominator so that we can get these two fractions under one denominator. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have the limit as x approaches 3 of 1 over x. And we're going to multiply this 1 over x by a 3 over 3. And this is minus 1 third. And we're going to multiply this by x over x. And this is all over x minus 3. And now let's go ahead and multiply this out. So doing that, we have the limit as x approaches 3 of 3 over 3x minus x over 3x. And this is all over x minus 3. And now let's go ahead and combine these two terms. So doing that, we have the limit as x approaches 3 of 3 minus x over 3x all over x minus 3. And now let's go ahead and rewrite this as follows. So the limit as x approaches 3 of 3 minus x over 3x. And we're going to change this divided by into a multiplication sign. And we're going to take the reciprocal of the denominator. So we have 1 over x minus 3. And we can see here that if we factor out a negative 1, on this term here. This term will cancel out with this term here. So let's go ahead and do that. And so we have the limit as x approaches 3 of negative 1 over 3x. And now from here, we can go ahead and plug in this value for a in for x. And when we do that, we get negative 1 over 3 times 3. And so this is equal to negative 1 over 9, and this is our final answer. So now let's go ahead and take a look at this next example here. So we have the limit as x approaches 0 of the function 1 over x plus 2 minus 1 half all over x. And so the first thing that we do when we're solving any limit problem is we plug in this value for a into our function f of x. And we see here that if we plug this 0 in, we get 0 over 0, which is an indeterminate form, which means that we need to use another method to solve this limit. So we can't use the method of factoring because we don't really have anything to factor here. We can't use the method of expansion because we don't really have anything to expand here either. And we notice here that our function is a complex rational fraction because we have fractional terms within our fraction. So this means that we're going to be using the method of finding a common denominator. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over x plus 2. And we're going to multiply this by a 2 over 2. And this is minus a half. And we're going to multiply this term by x plus 2 over x plus 2. And this is all over x. And now let's go ahead and multiply this out. So we have the limit as x approaches 0 of 2 over 2 times x plus 2 minus x plus 2 over 2 times x plus 2. And this is all over x. And now let's go ahead and get these two fractions under one denominator. So we have the limit as x approaches 0 
of 2, and then we have a minus. And now let's go ahead and distribute this negative sign to our x term and our 2 here. So when we do that, we have minus x minus 2, and this is over 2 times x plus 2. And this is all over x. Okay. So we can see in the numerator that this 2 cancels out with this negative 2 here. And so we are left with the limit as x approaches 0 of negative x over 2 times x plus 2 all over x. And now let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit so we can rewrite this as follows. So the limit as x approaches 0 of negative x over 2 times x plus 2. We can change this divided by into a multiplication and take the reciprocal of the denominator. So we have 1 over x. And so now we can see here that this x cancels out with this x here. And we have the limit as x approaches 0 of negative 1 over 2 times x plus 2. And from here, we can go ahead and plug in this 0 in for x. And so doing that, we see that we have negative 1 over 2 times 0 plus 2. And so this simplifies down to negative 1 times 2 times 2, which is equal to negative 1 over 4. And that is our final answer. And so that is how you solve an indeterminate limit using the method of finding a common denominator. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.